The Ukrainian army is encroaching on the largest city in the country's east to crush the anti-government resistance there. A series of attacks on the center of Donetsk hit two new apartment blocks, killing at least one person. And this footage right here was shot inside one of the apartments. You can see how badly damaged it is. Uh, just 200 meters from the buildings is a hospital. Its second floor completely wrecked, including walls, furniture, and of course, the medical equipment. All right, let's show you a video from a town just outside Donetsk. That is a church exploding into a fireball after being shelled. As you can see right next to it is a children's playground here, luckily empty at the time of attack. And all of this happened in just one day, but that crater right there, well, that's from a previous strike just a couple days before. A short while ago, I spoke to Maria Fenoshina. She's in the region. Ukraine's uh, National Security and Defense Council has confirmed that the army is currently preparing to regain control over the major cities in eastern Ukraine. It is also now confirmed by the officials of what Kiev calls its anti-terror operation in this part of the country. The spokesperson has said that uh, the military will take the cities and the towns and the villages street after street, building after building, without specifying which city will come uh, first, but uh, saying that it will either be Donetsk or Lugansk. These are big cities, of course, with these promises from uh, Kiev to intensify the attacks. Uh, concerns are that there could be even more civilian deaths in less than four months of the operation in Ukraine. More than 1,000 people have already been killed, ordinary uh, civilians. We just a couple of days ago visited the city of Lugansk and we saw a very dramatic uh, picture on the ground. Uh, many have already escaped uh, the uh, town, but many are still inside and they are high hiding in the basements, they are living under constant uh, shelling. Fighting is also continuing at the site of the Malaysian Airlines airplane crash as Kiev has officially suspended the ceasefire. Moscow has criticized this decision by Kiev's authorities, but Russia's resolution at the UN to try to reinstate it was blocked by countries such as Lithuania or US, who were saying that uh, anti-government forces are not following the truce. Artis Maria Fenoshina. Now, a photo correspondent for the Ria Novosti news agency is now missing in eastern Ukraine. Uh, that is Andrei Stenin. He was last heard of three days ago when he sent photos from the region. Now, at first, it was thought disruption to communications in the area was the reason he went quiet. But now there's genuine concern about his whereabouts. Stenin is well known for working in dangerous areas like Syria and Egypt. He's been taking photos all over the rest of regions where a number of journalists have been killed or abducted. And uh, moving away from the east to the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, which has witnessed certainly a turbulent 24 hours. Uh, as you can see right here, people on its central square first uh, clashing with police, burning tires. Then later they started dismantling the pavement. It happened when the city authorities tried to tear down barricades that have been on Maidan since last November, of course, last November, when the protests against the then government first started. A foreign affairs analyst, Derek Monroe, says the situation like this it's all too familiar. Actually, the situation is quite ironic, to say the least, uh, since the revolution seemed to be taken a 360-degree turn, where the situation as it transpired today came back to the same point of exit as last November when the uh, protests took place. So right now, it seems to me that all the a variety of different people who have really paid with their lives or with the livelihood, as far as the overall revolution is concerned, are simply realizing that the government they have right now is simply replaced the other and they're simply at a point of exit right now where it seems like nothing much has changed overall plus there's a civil war in the east so overall if i can sum it up the all developments in ukraine is with a complete disaster and there's really nothing else to show for except of grief destruction and mayhem